Hello, everybody. My name is Jamil Hawkins. I am the Family and Consumer Sciences Agent for DeKalb County with the University of Georgia Extension. Today for Commit to be Fit, we're going to be talking about the power of a can. During Commit to be Fit, we've talked about different topics that are including um, not just what you are putting into your body, but also your environment. And so today we're going to be talking a little bit about this topic and I will go ahead and get started. So the overview of today's topic of the power of the can is um, certain types of beverages are marketed to consumers with claims of boosting energy levels, improving your mental clarity, all while helping us lose weight. Those are all the claims of the companies. And so this presentation is going to help dispel some of those notions. Um, and then our goal is to help educate um, the participants, you all, on the dangers associated with the consumption of energy drinks. If you drink energy drinks, if your children drink energy drinks, if the people around you, then maybe you can help um, bring light to what is really happening within our bodies. So with the objectives, we're going to discuss the marketing ploys of energy drinks. We're also going to recognize the real health risks associated with the consumption of energy drinks. We're going to identify who should avoid energy drinks completely, like not at all. And then also we're going to be able to choose healthier alternatives to those drinks. So some new vocabulary, it might not be new, but I'm just gonna go over a couple of definitions of what some of the vocabulary that we're gonna be talking about in the presentation is going to be. So sports drinks are beverages that are intended to restore fluid and electrolyte balance and prevent dehydration after vigorous exercise. Most children and adults doing moderate to vigorous exercise in mild weather only need to replenish with water after exercise. And then an energy drink, which is not recommended, um, it can be um, told to enhance athletic performance due to the dangers of dehydration and harmful side effects. So are you familiar with these brands? So here we have this brand with the star and the double R. We have the big M. We have this eagle <laughs> emblem. And then we also have the two bulls, butting heads, are you familiar with these energy drinks? Do you even drink these drinks uh, regularly? And then what are your reasons for consuming these types of beverages? This is something that I want you to think about for yourself. I am going to say that when I was in college, <laughs> when I was younger, I did drink these types of energy drinks. And so, um, you know, this is not to say that, oh, I'm teaching and so I've never done these things and I'm trying to tell everybody to not do these things. But when I was younger, I did drink energy drinks. Um, and so I, you know, throughout the course of the class, I'll, you know, share my experiences, um, but also just let you know that when I'm teaching classes, I am probably relating to the information that I am teaching. Um, and so it's not really a don't do as I do, do as, you know. <laughs> um, but I am here to tell you that even extension agents, um, we have lives outside of teaching health education classes. And so um, a lot of us have experience with teaching, and so we try to share our experiences so that other people can be um, well informed in their decisions for their lives. So can you match these energy drinks with their slogans? I know a lot of these slogans, they're catchy. You see the commercials, you might see them when you go um, to the grocery stores or the gas stations. And so um, unleash your beast. Where does that, unleash the beast, excuse me, where does that fall? That is monster energy drink party like a rock star the rock star energy drink it gives you wings the red bull energy drink so all of these slogans are something that are like oh okay like unleash my in my inner beast so i'm gonna party like a rock star it gives me wings i'm just gonna be flying through life <laughs> um and so these are some of the slogans that are um attached to these brands so what do you need to know Energy drinks most often contain high amounts of caffeine, sugar, and they are very, they have very large portion sizes. These drinks are not designed to be sipped slowly like coffee, therefore the body doesn't have time to absorb it and process it. Um, caffeine excretes water from the body to dilute the sugar entering the bloodstream, which can lead to dehydration. That's why we say that most energy drinks will lead to de um, dehydration. 
And then energy drinks do not provide electrolytes and have a higher likelihood of a crash and burn effect. And so this is where I am to share my story of the crash and burn effect. You know, you're a college student, you are staying up late, you're trying to get papers done, homework assignments, projects, everything done. Um, and so you would drink, I would drink the energy drink. And then by, you know, you stay up late, not getting enough sleep, typical college student, um, you burned out at the end of the night. Um, it's four o'clock in the morning and I am super tired um, and I have to go to sleep now because I my brain can no longer function with my assignments, with whatever I have to do. Um, and so that's just one of my experiences <laughs> with energy drinks. And um, after that, those couple of experiences actually, <laughs> I do not drink those anymore as um, so what you need to know, energy drinks are regulated by the FDA as a supplement. Adolescents use ad energy drinks to stay up all night or to study without mon monitoring their total caffeine intake. Raising my hands, when I was an adolescent, <laughs> I was using energy drinks to stay up all night or and to study without monitoring the total caffeine intake that I was taking. Alcohol plus energy drinks equals a very dangerous combination. And then energy drinks can already cause dangerous side effects as well. So what are the dangers of energy drinks? So they are usually consumed quickly. And then the caffeine and the sugar rush into your bloodstream, it gives you ca a caffeine jolt. And it also raises your blood sugar levels and your blood pressure, making your heart beat faster. So higher levels of sugar and caffeine may produce symptoms, including irritability, anxiety, sleeplessness, nausea, um, and these can be severe enough to even require hospitalization. So energy drinks can also dehydrate your body, um, especially if used while exercising. And then when you are mixing alcohol and energy drinks, a person may be unaware of how intoxicated they are and they could attempt to drive or to drink to an extreme excess, which could, which could lead to other um, health issues as well. So energy drinks have been reported to cause extra calorie consumption, extra sugar consumption, um, heart palpitations, increased blood pressure, increased blood sugar, insomnia, dehydration, irritability, upset stomach, nausea, and then also increasing your urination. So 34 deaths have been associated with these types of beverages, um, according to the Center for Science and Public Interest. So these are some of the dangers of the energy drinks and what they can cause to your body. So if you have a loved one that you know is drinking these energy drinks, then this might be some of the things that you might see in them and you might want to tell them that, you know, they might want to cut back or stop altogether with energy drinks or even yourself. Um, so there are some ways to boost your energy levels without even drinking the energy drink. So these are the alternatives of um, instead of drinking energy drinks, which is regular exercise, um, adequate sleep, which we have talked about before, getting enough sleep helps your body recuperate from the day. Um, and then also eating a healthy, balanced diet. You're getting all the vitamins and the nutrients that your body needs to keep up your energy drink. So you, I mean, to keep up your energy so you don't feel the need to drink those energy drinks. Um, having your earlier bedtime so that you can get your adequate amount of sleep. Um, drinking plenty of water and then also um, having some relaxation and meditation to clear your mind so that you feel energized um, by the end of that. So we're going to talk about the nutritional uh, facts of the different types of nutritional drink, um, excuse me, energy drinks. So full throttle, um, one can is considered an, um, a serving size, which is 16 ounces. Um, so if you drink that entire serving size, that's 220 calories. Um, and so if you actually cut that in half to the eight, um, to eight ounces, so you get 110 calories you have um, 29 grams of sugar. Um, and then just remember that four grams of sugar equals one teaspoon of sugar. So 29 grams of sugar um, is considered to be 7.25 
teaspoons of sugar. And then if you're using, this is per eight ounce. So if you do the full 16 ounce can, if you drink the entire thing, that means that's 14.5 grams of tea, um, excuse me, 14.5 um, teaspoons of sugar that you're intaking just by drinking that one can of energy drinks. So a question that you might think to yourself when you're looking at sugar content of energy drinks or just any kind of um, other beverages or foods that you might consume, if you're looking at the sugar, if it's high in sugar, then you see that it says that it's um, 14 teaspoons of sugar would you just consume 14 teaspoons of sugar? Like you take a teaspoon, you take the sugar and you just eat 14 teaspoons of sugar. And you have to think to yourself like, oh, I would never do that. But when you're drinking it, it seems different, but you're still intaking that amount of sugar. So Red Bull um, has 110 calories. Um, and then with the total sugar is 26 grams. Um, of sugar. And so um, Monster has a 100 calories and it's 25 grams of sugar. And then Rockstar um, is 140 grams and 31 grams of sugar. So this is just something to keep in mind when you are looking at um, the sugar content and then also the caffeine of, um, of these energy drinks. And so we see that they also come in different sizes as well, right? So when you go to a gas station or to the grocery store, whatever the case may be, when you find these different types of um, energy drinks, they come in different sizes. So this one is a Rockstar energy drink. They come in eight ounce cans. They come in 16 ounce cans. They also come in 24 ounce cans. And so when we look to compare all the different um, types of things that are going on, um, then you see that the supplements are like the sugar content and then there's also the different types of carbohydrates um, as well. And so what do the 2015, 2015 to 2020 dietary guidelines say about caffeine? So moderate caffeine consumption is up to three to five, um, eight ounce cups a day. Um, or up to 400 milligrams of caffeine um, that can be incorporated into having a healthy eating lifestyle. So moderate consumption is not associated with increased risk of major chronic diseases such as cancer or premature death, especially from a cardiovascular disease. So it is okay to consume caffeine within your diet and still have a healthy eating lifestyle or a healthy lifestyle. Um, however, when you are going over that, then that is when it starts to become unhealthy. People who currently do not consume caffeinated um, coffee or other caffeinated beverages are not encouraged to start. So if you already don't drink caffeine or caffeinated coffee um, and you only drink decaf only, then um, it is not um, advisable to just start drinking um, caffeine. And then some coffee or other caffeinated beverages include, um, include a lot of calories from added sugars or saturated and or saturated fats, such as the creams, the whole 2% milk, and also the creamers, um, which of both should be limited as well. So beverage alternatives to energy drinks. So we can't just say stop drinking energy drinks altogether and not give you an alternative to what that may be. So you could switch possibly to decaf, having small a small cup of coffee, drinking more water, um, making the best choices um, by being a careful label reader um, if other non-caffeine beverages are available. And then also just cutting ca the caffeine um, can also mean cutting sugar intake as well. Because usually if there is a caffeinated beverage, it does have sugar in it. Um, unless you have your small cup of coffee and you're only drinking like black coffee. Um, but usually if you know, you're cutting your caffeine intake, that means that you're also cutting your sugar intake as well, which is a double good thing. <laughs> so in summary, energy drinks most often contain high amounts of caffeine, sugar, and then they also have the very large portion sizes. There can, there are many dangerous side effects that are, um, that are 
um, associated with drinking energy drinks. Um, and then you should also try to boost your energy without drinking energy drinks. Like we said before, you could try exercising, having a balanced diet as well could help with your energy levels, making sure that you're getting an adequate amount of sleep so that you are able to function throughout the entire day. Um, and then if you must buy an energy drink, make sure to compare labels so that you are getting possibly the lowest amount of sugar, the lowest amount of caffeine, um, so that you do not overwhelm your body. And then it is okay to drink caffeine in moderation. But if you don't already drink caffeine, then you are not encouraged to start. Um, and so if you have any questions about what we talked about today, there are going to be handouts that I am able to give you that um, should be with the video that um, you're watching right now. Um, and there's also an evaluation link that we have. It is the bit.ly B-I-T period L-Y slash 2-S-Y-Q-2-A-S. And that is our lesson evaluations. If you don't, if you feel, um, we encourage you to um, fill out the lesson evaluation so that I know what I could be doing better for classes like these. And then also just to tell how you like the information or how it might affect you in the long run. And if you have any questions or concerns or need the evaluation link, then you can always feel free to email me at Jamil, J-A-M-I-L-L-E, period Hawkins, H-A-W-K-I-N-S, at U-G-A dot edu and it's right there on the screen and so if you want to email me any questions if you have any concerns about anything um, if you just need the link to the evaluation or if you want the handouts as well feel free to email me and I'll be more than happy to help and so I just wanted to say thank you this is commit to be fit I believe we have one more lesson in commit to be fit before we um, end our time together but that's okay because um, you can always find me at DeKalb County Extension um, you can look us up online and I will be more than happy to help with any um, health and nutrition related type needs um, so thank you everybody and I hope you have a great day.